Hi all, I'm going to show you guys how to edit Guild Portal, specifically using through the control panel, but I did want to point out while I'm here, all of the edit links um, on the page, those edit links, you can click on them and edit that content straight from there. I clicked on the information section editor and that's how I would edit that. But the rest of the thing is that it's going to be about the control panel because that's where the main site changes can be made. Your control panel can be found in usually one of two places, across the top, up here, or if you have side nav, which I'm clicking to that new, um, it's over to your side down towards the bottom side, administration. I'm going to do everything from the um, top nav, just because that's what most people use and that's what I'm more familiar with. The control panel will look the same no matter what navigation you have. I'm going to click on the control panel link. My new control panel window is going to open up couple keys in our control panel. Um, you should always open up to Build Portal News and Service Updates over here to the right, and that will give you all of our changes. Um, all of your information, the, the neat, will be on the right, and sort of the um, navigation is on our left. So I'm going to go over our navigation on our left. It starts out with General Tools and Settings. Um, this is where you can change your name, game, and server. If you have a guild, a game that has integration, that would be next. You have WoW integration, you have AM integration, you have a couple other sites that have integration. If you don't have one of those games, that link won't be here. We have a pretty nifty alliance feature, which I will go over in another video. We have our admin logs. You would click on here if you wanted to see who made what kind of changes later. We have announcements. We have recruiting settings. We have text filters. That's like if you wanted to... Uh, keep somebody for swearing or every time they said a swear word to change it to say something like sugar. Subscriptions, this is where you can sign up to pay us. Domain names, if you have your own domain name you can click here. If you have to cancel the subscription it, it will be here. And then our file manager and that is where you upload files to us. Our next little accordion tab is member management. First thing you do is click on all members and that would bring up a list of all of your members or applicants, that's the next thing. If you just have applicants, you can click here. If you need to ban users, or you need banned users, they're next. Profile tracking, application questions, this is where you add applications. I'll make a video about that soon. Idle monitor, this is where you can set where if you want users to be automatically removed from the site if they've been idle for six years. Medals, this is where you can um, award medals. And email invites if you have people's emails and they invite them through here. Our next tab is pages and content, and this is where you would add pages. Um, all go portal sites start with home, forums, voting, calendar, roster, links, stories, and mail. If you wanted to add a new page, you click on add new page here. And you do the page name and your um, minimum level to see. So you've got public, associate, member, council, officer, and super admin. I'm going to add a page so you can see. If you wanted to sort or delete your pages, you'd click on the link under that, and that's going to open up something on your right. And remove the test page I just made up right before my forums page. And that will now, if I go over to my website and refresh, you will see my test right there. And right, I'm going back to the control panel. opened up another window. Uh, we were at pages. You can click on individual pages, like my home page, to change content or add content in there. That's probably where most people, I think, add or change content. Um, to delete something, I'm going to delete this news item, this news box, it'll delete the whole box, so delete content. And yes, I'm sure. To add something, I would go click over here on the top in the right hand, add content. I'd name it whatever I want. I'm going to name this news. And then over here to the type, I pick my type, and we've got lots, so make sure to scroll down. And I am going to actually add another news box. But this time I'm going to put it on the right hand side. I click add. And it will show you my news is over on the right hand side. If I don't like it there, I don't have to go back to the boxes. I can just drag and drop from here. So now my news is down here. I can do that with any and all pages. 
I have to, if I wanted my news on every page, I'd have to add it. It does not automatically um, add information to every page, which is very nice, so all these pages don't have to look the same. I have style tools. This probably could be its own demo. I will just generally go over, you can go over general style settings. Um, in this right hand side, I have background. This is you know, where I can set my background images and colors. I have my banner. I can either upload my own banner or I can create a banner. I have my site layout. This is my text. This is, I have my user links. I have a floater image, which would put a little image, this little image right here, anywhere I want it on the well, not anywhere, but where I put it on the site. Then we have some new features. We have a banner builder. We have our nav bar builder, and the nav bar is the navigation bars for across the top. We have a new page wrapper. We have navigation types. This is where you could pick between horizontal, cross like I have, or up and down content boxes. I'm sorry, navigation style. Next, you have your content boxes. This is where if you want to create your own content boxes, you could do it here, or you could just do colors. Page footer. This is where you want information into your page footer. And this is for form specifics. Um, some people in their forums, I'm going to go there now and show you real quick, like to when you roll over, like I'm doing now, have different colors show up. And those are where you make those kind of changes. We have full themes. This is probably one of our favorite, most used things. If you don't want to make up your own theme, you can go through the full themes, click on that. We can browse theme or share your themes if you have a really neat one that you want to share with other people. Click there. And then you have the custom images and border boxes, and this is where you would add your custom images and stuff like that. So if you wanted a custom border, you'd have to make it on another program, and you could use the URL path to upload it there. Next section is custom HTML scripting. This is an unsupported feature, and it's for you people who know HTML and JavaScript and all that neat stuff, and I don't know that, so I'm not going to do anything on that. Next is the beta sandbox area. Um, you may go here, be careful, because this stuff here is in beta, and may or may not actually make it into um, the full release, so help us test this new one. And last but not least is your help link section. Admin community is where you can go talk to other admins frequently asked questions, recent changes, support tickets, that's how you get directly to me, and videos where you see things like this. I hope that this helped clarify what some of our features are, and I will go into more detail on some of the more, I don't want to say complicated, that's the wrong word, some of the more um, in-depth features very soon. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.